Hello friends, till the previous video, we learnt how to check the distribution and how to align the given statements while applying the logical deduction method to find a definite conclusion out of two statements. Now in this video, we will discuss the possible combinations or cases where a conclusion can be drawn. So friends, let me tell you that there are only six cases where a conclusion can be drawn and these cases are a plus a that gives an a type statement as the conclusion second one is a plus e that will give an e type statement as the conclusion then the next two cases e plus a and e plus i they both will give an o type statement as the conclusion fifth is i plus a that will give an i type statement and the last one is i plus e that will give an o type statement as the conclusion always remember that the table mentioned here gives correct results if and only if the two statements have been properly aligned. Now if any other combination is given instead of the ones mentioned in the table, we will have to draw a conclusion either by the method of conversion or we will have to think of possibilities. Now in this video, we will take a few examples to show you how we should apply the logical detection method to find a definite conclusion out of two statements. So let's begin with the first example. Statement 1 is all hooks are books and the statement 2 is all books are crooks. Now are you able to pick the middle term here? Yes, the middle term is books and it is distributed in a statement 2. So the statements pass the rule number 1. And now we can see that the middle term is in the predicate part of the first statement and in the subject part of the second statement hence they are properly aligned so friends once the statements pass the rule number one and the rule number two you can deduct the middle term like this and using the first combination of rule number three we'll get the conclusion as all hooks are crooks and it will be a definite conclusion out of the two statements given above. Now let's take two more statements. So S1 is all tabs are trucks and statement 2 is no trucks are tubes. Now you can see that the middle term which is trucks here is once distributed in a statement 2 and both the statements are properly aligned. So we can say that both the statements pass the rule number 1 and the rule number 2. So we can deduct the middle term like this and as per the rule of combinations all plus no will give an e type statement therefore we will get the definite conclusion as no tabs are tubes. Now let's take two more statements. Statement 1 is no pen is a cap and statement 2 is all caps are fruits. Now you can clearly see that the middle term is cap but the middle term is being distributed in both the statements and hence the statements do not pass the rule number 1. Now can we do something to take the frequency of distribution of the middle term from twice to once? Yes we can. We can first convert the statement to using the method of conversion and we will write it first like this. Some fruits are caps. Now we can convert the statement 1 and write it right below the statement 2 no cap is a pen now you can see that the middle term which is caps here is distributed only in the statement 1 and both the statements are properly aligned so the statements pass both the rules rule number 1 and the rule number 2 and now we can deduct the middle term like this and we'll get the conclusion as some fruits are not 
pens as from the table of combinations we know that a combination of sum and no will always give an o type statement so friends this is it in the next video we are going to discuss a few more examples on how to infer a definite conclusion out of two statements till then keep learning and have a great time thank you very much